Hi. In this video, we will discuss about designing a run control page. This topic we will cover in two parts. Part 1 We will create a run control page without parameters. Part 2 Which will be more complex in comparison to part 1 where we will create a run control page and pass parameters. Those parameters will be utilized in application designer for an application engine. So this will be the part 1. Component There will be a component with employee ID and employee name. This part we have already covered in our previous video of application designer basics. In this video we will create a file layout, create application engine and then we will create a run control page to run that particular application engine. In part 2 it will be creating an application engine for masking that we will discuss in part 2 and then finally create a run control page with parameters. These parameters will be and used in the application engine. Let's create file layout now. Click on new, file layout, click ok. You have to drag and drop the required record here and then go to preview, select the segment name, select browse file, click ok and uh, so you see that uh, when you select the segment again you will notice that employee ID is having both of it. So you need to go back to definition, right click, data definition properties, go to use, instead of fixed, use CSV. CSV will consider comma delimited. So data is now fine. We need to save it. Z underscore test. Z underscore YT underscore TST underscore FL. Click OK. Function F7. Close it. Now create an application engine. Click OK. In step 1, insert an action. Make it people code. Click on it. First of all, we have to save it. Save it with Z underscore YT underscore TST1 underscore AE. Click OK. Also perform F7. F7 to add this particular application into the project. Now open file layout drag and drop file layout it will create auto create the code now we need to save it application engine is ready zyttst1 underscore ae now we need to create a run control page so click on new click on create a new page we need to insert sub page and the name of the sub page is PRCS run control underscore SPP. PRCS run CNTL underscore SPP. Click OK. So, as we are not having any parameters, so this is fine. We need to save it. Say Z underscore underscore test underscore RCT underscore PG. Click OK function F7. Now we need to create a component. Run control component. Drag and drop the page. Right click component properties. Go to use. Z underscore TST underscore EMP underscore 1. This is the name of the main record which is used in the component for which we had created file layout. Click OK. Click Save. Z underscore YT underscore TST underscore RCT score CMP. Click OK. Save. 
now we need to register this component z underscore temp details select menu item click next line name select the folder name provide the folder name rj underscore customized so this is the place where i place all my customized components click next make sure permission list all pages click next click finish okay this created the component let's search the registered component in the front end go to main menu rj customized here we can see the registered component this is the run control page that we have just registered try to add a new value say tsg2 so this is the run control page this part of the run control page occurred because we have added a sub page related sub page this part is still blank because we haven't added any run control parameters yet when we click on run ideally we should get the registered application engine here so that we can run it so far we haven't done that step so this part is also blank let's add the process that is the application engine into this run control page for that purpose, go to main menu, people tools, process scheduler, processes. Since the new application engine is not yet added to the processes from the front end, we have to perform it now. Click on add a new value. Process type is application engine process name would be z underscore yt underscore tst underscore ae click add so description is added automatically go to process definition options provide the required component name here which is z underscore yt underscore tst rct cmp process group give TLS all and save this way we connected application engine with the particular component name let's try to go to the same component again and see if we can see that particular application engine populated to be run from the run control page click on home main menu RJ customized ok add a new value click add try to run now we can see that the application name is added here so if you click ok that will run the process you can see in the process monitor that particular application engine running or queued so that's all in the part 1 in second part, we will add run control parameters and see how to utilize those parameters in running the application engine. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.